What's up everybody, just wanted to make a short video today explaining the doors of the clock tower in Neverland. So in many of my guides I reference the clock tower and say that at different points in the game certain doors at the top of the clock tower will glow white indicating that we can examine that door to receive an item. And in this video I'm going to explain how and when each door becomes available. So there are 12 doors at the top of the clock tower which open and so there are 12 items in total to be obtained. Which of these 12 doors are open is determined by your playtime. You see when we pause the game at the very bottom left we see a timer which tracks how many hours, minutes and seconds we've been playing a particular save file for. You see the timer only starts counting when we load up a save file or start a new game. So here in the main menu the timer isn't counting but if we go to load game we see the current playtime of a save file and if we load the game the timer begins to count our playtime. Now remember when I said there are 12 doors? Well I want you to think about these doors like the hours on a clock. So we have 1 o'clock all the way to 12 o'clock with each hour representing one of the clock tower doors which we can label doors 1 to 12 for convenience. So door number 1 is 1 o'clock, door number 2 would be 2 o'clock etc all the way down to door number 12 which will correspond to 12 o'clock. Then we look at the hour section of our in-game play timer in the pause menu and treat it like a digital clock. So a play time of one hour is the same as one o'clock, a play time of two hours is two o'clock and so on and so forth up to 12 hours being the equivalent of 12 o'clock. And I'm sure you've guessed that depending on which hour is on our play time this will change which door is open in the clock tower. For example here the game says I've been playing for four hours so that means it matches with four o'clock and so door number four will be open at the clock tower. If I wait a couple of minutes the playtime will change to 5 o'clock and then I can come back to the clock tower and door number 5 will be open. So you get the idea, there are 12 doors linked to each hour of our in-game playtime. Now is there a way to check which doors we've already opened? Well yes actually there is. You see when we go to the clock tower the clock face in front of the save point will show lights beside the hours that you have completed. For example in my game I have opened the 6 and 7 o'clock doors so there's a light in front of those hours. Then if I go and open the 4 o'clock door the clock face will reflect this with a light beside 4 o'clock. So this is how we check which doors still need to be open. Now a natural question is, Shady I've been playing the game for more than 12 hours can I still get the items from the clock tower? Yes don't worry think of it like a 12 hour clock. After 12 hours of playtime it resets and goes back to 1 o'clock. So 13 hours of playtime is like 1 o'clock again, 14 hours is 2 o'clock etc etc and this goes on all the way up to 99 hours. I will post a list up on screen now and in the description to show which time every game hour represents. Well Shady what happens after 99 hours have I missed the items? No, don't worry, after 99 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, the timer resets back at 0, 0 hours, which we know from the table is 12 o'clock. However, I will say this, each time the timer resets, it changes colour. It goes from blue to green to pink and then orange. Be careful because in the unlikely event you're on the orange timer, you must obtain all 12 items before this timer reaches the maximum. 99 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds because once it gets here it will freeze forever. And because the timer is frozen no more doors at the clock tower will ever open except the one for hour 99 which is door number 3 from the table. I documented all this in a recent short if you'd like to watch that I will link that up here in the corner. So before I show you the rewards let me give you the best way to collect all these items. So I'm going to give you a simple step by step process which you can follow along with me to open all 12 doors. But before we do anything, make sure that you can actually get to the clock tower. This of course requires you to have sealed Neverland's keyhole which if you're watching this video I'm sure you've done already. But the other thing you must do is fly the gummy ship to Neverland and when it asks you where you want to land, make sure the clock tower is an option. If it's not then unfortunately you haven't beaten the optional boss, the phantom yet and you must do so before you're allowed back to the clock tower. How do you fight the phantom? Well land in Neverland's cabin, press triangle at the save point, click party, click Donald or Goofy and then click Peter Pan. 
This switches out Donald or Goofy and puts Peter Pan on the team. We need Peter Pan on the team because he's the only one who can talk to Tinkerbell and we must talk to Tinkerbell here in the cabin in order to have the option of fighting the Phantom. I personally recommend keeping Donald as magic is more important when fighting the Phantom. Also make sure that you get to at least about level 70 before you attempt this fight. Now I'm not going to show you how to beat the Phantom in today's video but I will in a future video since most of you consider this one of the hardest fights in the game. So when that's made I will link it in the description and at the end of the video. Luckily I've made a printable PDF which you can print out and check off as you open each of the 12 doors. This document also includes the hour table from before. So step number one is to print off this document. Step number two is to pause the game and check your time. For example my play time is 41 hours and either using the description or on your sheet of paper match it up to the table. So for me I'm at 5 o'clock so door number 5 will be open for me. Step number 3 is to go to the clock tower and locate which door has a light above it. Whichever door this is, is door number 5 or whatever door you got in your table. P.S. If there is no light above any door, you've already opened the door and got your item. So either way, mark it off the list and then we need to wait until the in-game timer ticks over to the next hour. So step number 4 is to pause the game, leave it running and then come back later when the next hour has arrived. For me now, the next hour is 42, which corresponds to 6 o'clock, or door number 6. Step 5 is to go back to the clock tower and open this door. By the way, if you've waited like I did at the clock tower, you need to leave the world and come back before another door opens. So at the save point, press triangle, go to the world map, and then click Neverland again. Then select the clock tower. Now the next door will be open and we can receive our second out of 12 rewards in my case. And then step number 6 is to repeat this process until all 12 doors have been opened and checked off your list. A good option is to open a door, then set a timer for 1 hour, go play the game as normal and then when the timer goes off, head straight over to Neverland to open the next door. This will take at least 12 hours of wait time or play time, so it's probably a 2 day process or longer. Now there are a few minor things that can go wrong that I just want to mention quickly. Number 1 is starting this process with your timer too close to 99 hours. After hour 99 like I said before it will reset at 00, zero hours which is 12 o'clock so be careful of this otherwise you'll have some overlap and it'll take even longer. Number 2 is trying to get to the door too close to the next hour. For example, if I try to get to a door at 1 hour and 58 slash 59 minutes, I might not have enough time to get to Neverland and land at the clock tower before the next hour starts. And number 3 is to make sure that you save your game after each door to ensure that you don't have to redo any of this because it is very time consuming. So that's all the info that you're really going to need. If I've missed anything or you have any questions, please leave them in a comment below. So let's quickly run through the rewards now before we wrap this video up. So at 1 o'clock you can open up the door to get an Ori Calcum. At 2 o'clock you will receive a power up. A Mithril Shard is waiting for you at 3 o'clock. You can get a power up if you come back at 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock will net you an AP up. Door number 6 has a mithril. The door at 7 o'clock has another AP up. Come back at 8 o'clock and you get a defense up. Door number 9 has an Ori Calcum. At 10 o'clock you will find a defense up. Come back to the clock tower at 11 and you'll get a mithril shard. And finally at 12 o'clock you will get a mega elixir. Thanks for watching everybody. Good luck opening all the doors of the clock tower. I'm Shady Riku. I hope this was helpful and if so please like and subscribe.
I'll see you all on the next one. Take care.